Hey all, I'm Louis Cadetti and welcome to another video of me drawing with my left hand, attempting to. And uh, thank you so much for everybody who's watched my first couple of videos. It's uh, really awesome to see it got as many views as, as it did, which is more than I thought it would. But for those of you who don't know, I hurt my chest a couple weeks back, a couple months back actually, a month, month and a half. And I had surgery, I'm gonna make a full recovery, but I can't draw with my right arm. Well, actually I'm starting to right now, which is really good news. Uh, but I haven't been able to, so I've been practicing with my left hand. And, you know, I thought I'd show you guys how it happened. This is actually what happened. Let's see it. Alright, so we're going to be drawing my niece June in this video, and June just loves food, but before we start, I'm going to give you guys some things to, to keep in mind so you kind of understand what you're looking at. And really, it's, it's me just trying to keep everything simple at first. A lot of the times people go through and develop the drawing too much. You don't want to do that. You really want to just hold back and get the big basic shapes and keep it in that simple form and strive to see the proportions, and that's what I do. And I'm struggling a lot, of course, with my left hand trying to get a very uh, steady line with it. You'll oftentimes see they're very shaky and I go through and clean them up. So I'll go through and I'll give some commentary as, as uh, we watch me draw. All right, let's see it. All right, so we mark the bottom point, the top point, going through and marking the angles, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, trying to get the, the size of the head correct. And ideally you want to go for the neck and the shoulders at this point too if, if it's on the, the figure that you're drawing. In this case it's a photograph. I always recommend real life, but for the sake of the video, like I said before, I'm going off a photograph for, for simplicity. And so we're going through and I'm just looking at the large shape. I'm trying to draw with straight lines to get the angles, to see angles. And it trains your mind and your eye to see angles. And this is very important because that's what drawing is about and understanding what you're drawing, obviously. All right, and so we're slowly working it up and I'm keeping the pencil very light so that it doesn't scar the paper. And the materials I have listed below in the descriptions, for those of you who don't know, I will be making a separate video on materials and what, what are good materials to get for beginners and how I prepare, how to sharpen pencils and such. Because you notice it's a very long tip pencil right there. So I'm going through, and now I'm starting to go through and get some of the details. I've kind of locked the proportions in to a degree. And they can always be better, but the idea is, is you're always going through and continuously looking at the whole shape and trying to fix the big areas, the proportions, by doing even just small details. And I'm working all around the drawing, not walking around the drawing, but I'm just you know, going from the, the chin, up to the eye, up to the forehead, trying to see the whole thing. And so we go through, we draw some shadow shape in very lightly, working on the nose, all in the interest of the, the big shape. There we go, work on those eyes. And honestly, within portraiture, it's, it's like if, if you have one little thing that's off in the lips, the eyes, whatever, one of the features, it, it makes the whole thing look off. It's kind of crazy. It's a challenge. I love doing portraits. It's one of my favorite things to do. Y'all might be wondering why I haven't been doing any painting recently. Uh, it's just because I'm lazy. Kidding. No, drawing's the bread and butter of painting and sculpture, and it's so important. And I need practice with my left hand. I don't know how to get that level of complexity yet with the brush. I, you know, I guess I could but I wanted to see what I could do with a pencil first because it does make you better at, at painting as well, sculpture, because you get to see the shapes. And so at this point, I'm going through and detailing and shading, but I'm still thinking of the large shape. And that's the key is to constantly look at the large shape. So if I'm drawing an eye, I'm looking, kind of blurring my eyes and looking at the, the whole shape as I do it, perhaps not directly at the eye. Now I'm going through and darkening it in some, I, I had a really hard time 
getting uh, very fine technique. My hand was very shaky and I did a lot of cleaning up with the racer, which needed a racer. These things are awesome. If you don't have one, get one. Do it, do it. Really good. And so I'm continuously going in and shadowing all in the interest of the larger shape. I think I've said that like 5,000 times. But if there's anything you take away from this video, that's it. Always do everything in the interest of the larger shape. Never go piecemeal, piecemeal. Never go and just hone in on one area because if you do, you're gonna lose track of the rest of the drawing and, and it's gonna look out of proportion. This is very scratchy. The hair I could have done much, much better in this video, I think. Or this drawing, rather. Those cute little eyes that mouth and babies are just so incredibly subtle because you know they're, they're very round they have very fine fine features and June is just so sweet and like I said before she just loves food she will keep on eating she's like she's like the beagle we used to have that dog kept on eating and that's June and she is such a good kid and so, as you can tell, I'm working all around and going through and trying to fix the overall head shape because that's gonna determine how the eyes and, and the nose and the mouth appear to us, right? The whole face in general, the head shape. It would look very strange. You know, babies have giant heads, if you notice, compared to their bodies. Giant. Now, I don't have her body in, in it, this one, but babies, baby head shapes and proportions are way different than humans. Humans, yeah, they're not human, are they? than adults, that's what I mean. You know what I mean. This little mini human. All right, going through, trying to get some form in the nose, get the highlight. We're going through and cross hatching up top, trying to get some form up in the, the forehead. Constantly working on line quality, trying to make the drawing turn, which means make it look three dimensional. And honestly, just trying to focus uh, on my, my left hand and, and trying to get as fine a technique as I possibly can with it while focusing on the shapes, the proportion, and the development of the drawing. And he, Because it's, it's in human nature to go through and detail things right off the bat, but if we do that, it's always out of proportion. So the idea is to build everything up evenly at the same time, which is what I'm trying to do here. Cross hatching, go up in the eyes, gain those highlights up. There you go. That's it, darken it some, make it pop. And honestly, with everything I could do better, I could always do better. But, uh, you know, the key is just not to get discouraged and to look at your drawing and, and always think of what you did right and what you can improve upon. All right, so that about does it. It's really good being back in my own studio. There was some damage that was done in the wall, but it's all fixed now. Guys, thank you so much for watching and y'all take care.